hello and welcome to cracksway today in this video i'll show you how to install custom recovery without using a pc or laptop yes now you don't need to have a computer to install custom recovery on your phone some of you may not have a computer but want to install a custom recovery then this video is specially made for you and i also find this method more handy than using a computer and this method is easy too because in computer you may face different problems like device not connected or driver related issues so personally i use this method to install custom recovery or custom rooms so let's start the process so here you can see i have two phones with me i am going to install custom recovery on this device which is redmi note 8 and this another phone i'll use as a computer which will help to install custom recovery on another phone and this phone is redmi note 9 pro max and i haven't unlocked its bootloader as well as this phone is not rooted so first of all go to its settings section tap on about device enter into all specs section and tap on miui version about seven times to enable the developer option in some device you may need to tap on build number to enable developer option then go back and enter into additional settings scroll down to the last and you'll find developer option on some other device you may find developer option inside system settings so inside this developer option scroll down until you find usb debugging option so simply tap on it and it will show a warning agree that and the usb debugging will be enabled on your device and similarly enable usb debugging option on another device too so after this we need to download custom recovery for our phone and i'll download twrp custom recovery for this I'll search for TWRP recovery redmi node 8 and similarly you can search recovery for your device too. So tap on this first link here also scroll down until you find this download link section. Tap any one of the available server and inside it you will find the list of available TWRP image file. At the top there will be the latest version of TWRP simply tap on it. Now at last tap on this download TWRP image file then it will start the downloading process. So now TWRP custom recovery file is downloaded and it's in downloaded folder as you can also see on the screen. Now go back and download this Bugzigger app from the play store. Now it's downloaded then you need two cables to connect these two phones. First one is OTG cable and second one is USB data cable. At first connect OTG to the device where you have downloaded the recovery file which is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and then connect USB data cable to OTG and to another device. So this is the final setup which looks something like this. Now reboot the phone on which you are going to install custom recovery and make sure you reboot it to the fast boot mode. You can also reboot to fast boot by long pressing volume down and power button together. And you will notice that when your phone completely reboot to fast boot, then a pop up menu will appear on another phone. Simply tap on OK button and agree necessary permissions that it asks for. Then when you tap on OK button, it will redirect to Bugzigger app where you will see device connected pop up menu. Also, you can check either phone is properly connected or not from this section where you can see some numbers which means device is properly connected to another phone. Now we need to swipe to the right across these icons and you will find the thunder like icon. Simply tap on it and then you will find another similar icons below. Tap on it and then tap on I understand button and this kind of interface will appear. Now here we have to type two commands. Our first command is fast boot space devices and hit enter then some random number will appear which indicates that our phone is connected to fast boot mode now after this we need to type another command which is fast boot space flash space recovery space 
then tap on this link icon allow the storage permissions and will be redirected to file manager and from here tap on the twrp recovery file that you have downloaded a moment ago and then hit enter button then it will start its flashing process and after a few seconds you will see finished written on it which indicates that the flashing process is completed so now we need to reboot our another device which is in fast boot mode to the recovery section and to reboot to recovery press and hold power button and volume up button together and then your phone will be redirected to recovery mode at first simply swipe to allow modifications and then you will be on the home page of twrp recovery so in this way you can use adb sideload method to install custom recovery using bug jigger app so that's it for this video i hope you find this video useful and if you have any queries or suggestions you can comment down below and if you like my work then you can hit the like button share this video and subscribe to cracksuit i'll see you in my next video bye